This should do the trick. Let's go. Let's go to the wasp's nest. Old tongue. Hmm, there's something here. Hmm, there's something here. I see a jewel. It's fallen between the floorboards. Hmm, there's something here. A Hebrew inscription. Going by the length of the chain, it must belong to a child. Hello there. You looking for a gas man? You really a gasser? You sure it isn't a bobby? Well, if you don't need me, I'll be on my way then. I've already been paid up. Stay. Who paid you? A doctor, Marston, I think he was. He told me you'd talk to me about a foreigner, name of Tumblety, if I did you a favour. Right, mate. Might happen. What is it you need me to do, then? Listen to me. At the end of Whitechapel, there's an abandoned dump of a house. Opposite Finley's boarding house. Upstairs, in the mess where the gas pipes are, you'll find a sack with something heavy inside. If you look in, you'll regret it here. You find it, you bring it here, and you don't tell us so, right? Got it. And then you'll tell me about this tumble tea so that I can report back to the doc? Yeah. Doctors know people. And since you is here, it's because he'll move mountains for his American. Me? I don't know much. But you can tell him that he'll have to talk to Squibby. He seems to know lots about plenty. When you come back with a sack, I'll tell you what he needs to tell Squibby, so that he snitches on the yank to him. Believe me, mate, it's as explosive as ten miles worth of gas in your damn pipes. Right then, I'm off. Go. Give me some air.
I could arrange for the police to come down here and arrest this thug, but he seems pretty tough and would probably be a lot less cooperative than if I play along. It's best I handle this myself, including meeting the mysterious Squibby. It's the abandoned house that Bluto pointed out to me. He must have set up his hideout there. Hmm. There is a strange smell coming from this old building. Good day, Finley. Ah, uh, good day, sir. Have we met before? It's me, Sherlock Holmes, but I don't want it to be known that I'm here. Can I count on you? Certainly, Mr. Holmes. I shall be as silent as the grave. Your tenant, Dr. Tumblety, is he here? I don't think so. Go and find out. It would seem we've been having some gas problems. Don't talk to me about it. The problem is from the abandoned house not far from here, but nobody has come to take care of it. Perhaps I could go and take a look. Do you have a ladder? No, but I think in the pile of wood under the stairs there is one in pieces. And if you also need something from the scrap heap, some old tools or who knows what, feel free to take it, Mr. Holmes. But leave the dishes in good condition. Thank you, and goodbye. And goodbye, Mr. Holmes. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. Finney's ladder is smashed to pieces, but all the parts appear to be here. This must be a piece of the ladder. This must be a piece of the ladder. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. This must be a piece of the ladder. This must be a piece of the ladder. Some old nails. They may come in handy. This old cloth could be used as a mask. I must moisten my makeshift mask. Part of a perfume atomizer. A heap of rusted iron crockery. There, this damp cloth will do for a mask. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. A broken hammer, I will have to find a handle. Part of a perfume atomizer. This ladder will support my weight. Let's go! My cloth mask won't make much difference, but I'll be able to inspect the room for a few seconds. The leak must have been sudden. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. Someone left here in a hurry, presumably because of the gas leak. A small torch, a useful tool for opening safes, I would assume, but the gas bottle is empty. The leak must have been sudden, even the animals didn't have time to escape. The leak must have been sudden, even the animals didn't have time to escape. This iron bar will help me. I need something. The leak is coming from here. The satchel is behind these pipes. 
This explains why the thug wanted someone who knew about gas. He must have hidden it there in great haste and broke the pipes in the process. The satchel seems to be quite stuck. I don't think I can get it out without passing out. For good. I need a more suitable mask. The kind used by tanners would do nicely. How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. This man seems wary. I must find a way to win his confidence. How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. I am here because I found this. Abraham's beard. The son of one of my neighbors was beaten in the street a few weeks ago and it was stolen from him. If you would give it to me, I promise to return it to him and get you a reward. Money doesn't interest me. Who are you, sir? And what do you want from me? I'm a friend of Dr. Watson's. Uh, you know him, don't you? In that case, welcome. Dr. Watson is a great man, and I would be pleased to help one of his friends. You work the leather and perhaps even tan it yourself. I believe tanners wear special masks to protect themselves from the toxic emissions given off by the vats used to soak the leather. I have a gas leak to fix, and I won't survive without something effective to protect myself with. Go see my cousin Abraham, who has a pet shop a little further down the road. Tell him that Isaac sent you. <laughs> That's me. I'll be off now. My regards to Dr. Watson. <laughs> 